In this episode, we're gonna talk about the basic campaign structure for Facebook ads. This is what I recommend you get done every single time you're gonna go and create a new campaign from scratch. All right, so this is very important. Why? Because a lot of people make a mistake on the subject of selecting an objective, and then on the subject of selecting an audience to target, and then on the subject of creating an ad. And I'm gonna explain to you in a second what is what I recommend? Uh, if you guys don't know me, I'm Manuel Suarez. I'm the CEO and founder of a marketing company called AGM, which stands for Attention Grabbing Media. We are Damon John's preferred marketing team, and we have been doing millions of dollars of ad spends for years, and we have a lot of data in our organization. I'm gonna give you some of that data that has been tested as successfully, so maybe you can replicate on your own campaigns. If I'm talking to you and you have no clue what Facebook campaigns uh, are all about, well, this might not be the right video for you because you need to go back and understand some of the basics of Facebook ads. There's something called the Facebook Business Manager. Hopefully you are educated on what that is all about. Business.facebook.com is your hub to be able to create campaigns across Facebook, Instagram, and the Facebook family of apps. We're not here to talk about what the Facebook Business Manager is. We're here to talk about what the structure of a campaign should look like. Every single brand, any individual brand, personal brand, business, product, or service, they have one thing called an ad account inside their Facebook Business Manager. And inside that ad account, they can have many individual campaigns. Every single campaign has three levels to it. That's the way that I like to describe it. There's three levels. What are these three levels? Number one, this one is called an objective. And they're all very important. And I'm, you're gonna understand why. The objective on Facebook is what are you trying to accomplish? What exactly is the end goal of that individual campaign? I'll explain more. The second level, once you have that figured out, Facebook calls it the ad set. That basically is going to have everything about your audience, the budget, are you doing impressions or whatever it is that you're doing about that campaign in regards to finding your right audience, that's an ad set. Those are the people that you're going after. Remember, there's billions of people. That's a lot of zeros. Sometimes people don't realize how much people that really is. One thing that I can guarantee is that most people out there are not interested in your products and services. So it's a big challenge, a very important one, to locate the people that are interested in your products and services. That's probably the hardest part of an entire campaign because the objective, you can probably have good results on a lot of different ones. The ad set, the audience that you're targeting, that's where it becomes more of a challenge. And then the third level is the ad itself. I also like to describe that, and many of us talk about this as creatives. These are what you're trying to accomplish, level one. Number two, who are you targeting? And what is your creative? Are you using a video, a single image? What is your copy? Are you using a carousel of a series of images? What is it the exact thing that you're trying to use to get people to respond to it? Because that's the purpose of the creative, getting people to respond to your actual ad, go to your website, give you their information, whatever the case that may be. So what is the structure over here that I recommend when you're doing these free levels? Because there's many different options and they don't really end. And this is applicable to whatever campaign you're trying to do. You have one objective, just one, because you cannot select more than one objective. That's simple enough. And that objective can be many different things. I wanna get messages. It's one of those. I wanna get leads, it's another one. I wanna get conversions, for example, I wanna get purchases. I wanna get event responses, it's another one. I wanna get, I wanna do branding only. Doesn't mean that you need uh, sales right now. I wanna reach people, it's another one. You get the idea. There's, the, there, these are objectives. This is what is it that you're trying to accomplish. I'm a big fan of messages. I'm a big fan of leads. 
I'm a big fan of sales. These are things that I do a lot of. E-commerce scaling, getting conversions, getting purchases, building lists so I can actually nurture them and then get them down my customer journey. These are things that I do a lot. So you're gonna see me doing these objectives quite a bit, but many of them I actually do all the time also. But I'm really heavy on those free objectives right there. I select one objective. Let's say that on this one I say, I wanna get messages. Maybe I wanna get Instagram direct messages, which is by the way, rolling out as an automation here in 2021. Uh, maybe I want to get like messenger messages um, and I, I can focus on that because these people are converting at a very high rate, 90% open rates in the subject of mes Facebook Messenger. It's a big deal. So if I get messages, I, I'm going to be able to get these people to convert and open up my messages at a very, very high rate. So that's my objective right there. I select one objective and then we move on to second level. This is where it gets tricky because a lot of people make a mistake on this. They start piling in audiences in here. A lot of different people, one single audience. It's a mess, it's a jungle. And you say something like, I wanna target anybody between the ages of 18 and 64. Guys, huge mistake, please. These people are very different one to the other. An 18 year old does not think like a 40 year old. A 40 year old does not think like a 64 year old. A woman does not think like a man. They're all different. They have different interests, likes, dislikes, behaviors, activities, all of it. You cannot do this. This is a mess. So what you do on Facebook and the right way to do marketing is that you test individual audiences. And this is at the asset level. So once you are in business.facebook.com and you select your ad account and you say create a campaign and you select your objective messages, your next step here is selecting an audience to target. And you can target a lot of them, dozens, 75 of them if you wanted to. You can target individual audiences and the bigger the market, the bigger the audiences can be. For example, if you have a dental practice and you're only in, let's say a small city, like the one that I live in uh, called Clearwater, you only have 100,000 people, 200,000 people. So your audience is very small. So you cannot be testing 1,000 audiences with that because otherwise you're gonna have a problem. Facebook is not even gonna be able to spend the money. But if you have a national market or an international market, you're talking about millions and millions and millions of people. So what I do is that I can select, for example, in the US, I can select individual audiences. I like to go for up to 10 audiences and no more than that. If I am targeting people, I have a brand called Natural Slim, it's my brand. We're gonna do $45 million this year in revenue. We've been building this brand since 2008 in the United States only. When I'm targeting the entire nation of Latin American people here in the US, which is about 50 million people, I can create up to 10 audiences of, let's say anywhere from half a million to 1 million. And they are individually created. For example, half a million to 1 million people of ages 24 to 35 females, for example. Very specifically targeted to them. Audience, 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 audience. And I let Facebook spend some money on each one of these to find out if it's gonna give me results. Audience testing is the single most important thing on discovering a successful campaign or finding out if it's gonna bleed out and lose you a lot of money. Very important to note that there's a lot of data that Facebook has that you wanna to use to your advantage and that's where you find out if it's actually going to be useful or not. So you're looking at one objective, up to 10 audiences over here, no more than 10 audiences, and then we go into the final step over here. And the final step is your ad creative. This is ad creative. And on this one, on this level, I recommend to keep it at a maximum of three total creatives. And what I like to do is one image, one video, and one carousel, which is basically a series of images. It can be anywhere from three up to 10 images. It could even be two if you want it that maybe tell the story about the product or service and present to people information about what the product can do to help them solve a problem that they have. This is problem solving creatives. 
You're going to show people how your business can help them improve an area of their lives. You don't need more than that. Once you find a winning creative, like an image, you can keep on scaling that forever and ever, for a long time. You have a lot of people that you can target. And this is where you can keep on creating more and more audiences and testing them out before you think that the campaign is a losing campaign. Free, different creatives, image and video. Some people only like video. Some people only like images. Some people like to have an experience like the carousel and you wanna use all three elements like that. So these are the basics that I teach on my marketing organization. When my guys, the account managers, we handle a lot of accounts and a lot of advertising uh, money, we're setting up campaigns like this to, to ensure that we have a structure to determine uh, if a campaign is gonna help us scale results or not. If you do this and you find an objective and you don't get results and you test it out and now audiences, you can pull the plug, it is marketing, many times campaigns will fail and you can go and get back to the drawing board and create a new campaign from scratch until you find a winning one that you can keep going forever. You can keep it moving forward, all right? Hope that that was uh, provided a lot of value to you guys and uh, keep an eye out for our next video. If you guys have any marketing questions, you can always reach out, 888-280-3339 free nine, and we will be happy to help you see how my company, our marketing agency can help you. Take your marketing game to the next level. See you in the next one.